Hi, Brave Doers. I'm happy to see you again with a new video on taxes. As the taxation parameters depend on your company's country, it's essential to choose the right country when you create your database so that Odoo will automatically install the adequate localization package. It ensures that your tax rates are properly set up as well as the possible integration with the tax report. Many countries' common form of taxation is the VAT, a consumption tax applied to all goods and services. Such tax is not a cost for businesses, but it's collected on behalf of the government. Indeed, here at Pinkas, we charge a VAT on our sales and we recover it from our purchases. You can also check out our written documentation for other tax systems like TaxCloud. Let's see how to use and apply the right taxes with just a few clicks in our Odoo database. Okay guys, let's go in the accounting application to access all our existing taxes in the database. From here, you need to go in the configuration menu and you have a dedicated menu for our taxes. You see there's a whole list of existing taxes in my system. That's thanks to the localization package that I've installed when creating the database. You can also use filters, group by favorites like everywhere in Odoo. And here, are, let's say I want to group by tax type. So super easy to identify here which tax apply on sales and the others that apply on purchases. The first thing you need to do when you configure your database for accounting, you need to decide which tax you want to use in your system. And to do that, you need to activate or deactivate the taxes that are available. So from the list, super easy, let's say I want to uh, activate the 21% for services on sales, I just have to click on the active field right here at th on the right hand side of the page. Let's go inside one of those to see what's happening. So here you have the basic configuration of a tax in the system. You have two different blocks here, one for the distribution for invoices and the second for the credit notes. So it gives us the possibility to automate the journal entry that is going to be generated in your accounting when you register an invoice. So here you have the first line corresponding to the invoice line, which is the, the VAT excluded amount. So when you sell your car, you will have a uh, uh, thousand euros in here and also the tax rate that is related to the tax report. And under it, you have the, the amount of tax that will be dedicated to an account for the VAT pay payable and also its dedicated tax rate that enables us to record all these amounts in the tax report for the end of the period. In the credit notes is basically the same, except that there might be slightly different uh, configurations based on the tax report. In the advanced options, you also have the possibility to see the label on invoices, if you want to change it, the tax group, uh, if you want this tax to be included in the price, and also if you want to affect the base of subsequent taxes. Meaning, for example, for eco taxes, uh, you will need it will need to be included for the further tax that will be applied. Hold on a second, Eva. I get it. Taxes are very easy to create and activate in Odoo. But how about invoices? How does it look like? Well, let's see directly in an invoice how it interacts with the other uh, parameters of an invoice line. But first, what I want to tell you is that you see that in Odoo you have different possibilities to put default tax on products, on chart of accounts. But the first thing you need to do is make sure that in the settings you have default taxes applied. So here, by default, you will have some. So you have a sales tax and a purchase tax, meaning that if you don't configure default taxes elsewhere in the system, you will always have a tax applied in your invoice and bills. So let, let's now create a new invoice as you requested. So here, if I add an invoice line directly, you see that I have a tax applied for based on my settings. If I take it out and if I use a product though, automatically, it also enables us to put a default tax from the product configuration. So if we check it out, we have a field for the customer taxes here, and we also have one for the vendor taxes. So if you create a bill, you will have the proper vendor tax applied as well. And you also have the same thing for your chart of accounts. So if we check out the account configuration, we have a default tax that can be applied in the system. What is the result of all these taxes configuration? When you check out the journal items view, which is the complete accounting entry for your invoice, you see how it has constructed the journal item as a whole. So we have our invoice line here for our VAT excluded amount. And as we configured our sales tax to have a tax rate in it, you will see it, of course, on this line. And we also have the 21% that is 
in a new uh, item f with a dedicated uh, account for the VAT payable and also has its dedicated tax rates. So thanks to that tax configuration, it's super easy to automate the entry of a customer invoice or a vendor bill. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Ciao a tutti.